My name is Mike Casey, uh, Smith & Edwards. I've been here uh, all my life, it seems like, since 1970. Pretty much over the sporting goods department till Mike Boss came along, and uh, he's been taking over the sporting goods department. And uh, I'm just kind of hanging around being a helper now. I'm Mike Voss, and I am the sporting goods manager at Smith & Edwards. We have an exciting time every year. We have a mystery safe. Uh, and I'm not sure when this started. It wasn't at the very first, uh, but we, we get a, a safe, a nice gun safe, assuming somebody wants a safe, and then we stick a bunch of stuff in it and don't tell anybody what's in it. And uh, you can imagine people bidding on something that they don't even know. It's pretty surprising and, and, and fun uh, to see their expressions as the bid goes on. Uh, they know that probably everything in the safe isn't going to be exactly what they wanted, but uh, they had fun participating, and we do put some real good stuff in that safe. Uh, it's not the old junk that's not selling. There's some highly desirable, and in some cases, very rare merchandise that most people would be really, really glad to have. The craziest thing I've seen at a gun auction is a father and two sons showed up just to see what was going on at Smith & Edwards. I'm not even sure they knew there was a gun auction. And they got involved and they sat there and they bid and they bought a couple of guns. And then at the very end, the mystery safe came up and the kids were like, Dad, let's do this. And Dad had recently lost his wife. And so he was trying to reconnect with the kids, trying to have a sport in common with the kids, which was going to be hunting, shooting, and, and, and those sports. And the kids were like, Dad, let's do this. And so they started watching where the bid went, and he started in, and the kids kept him going. And so a man that had no intention of buying a safe or a bunch of guns was the grand prize gun safe winner, the mystery safe winner. Well, really, it's a fun time. I mean, you have an auction in a store that can entertain the whole family. There's a department for everyone. Um, off times, and this year included, we'll have some demonstrations and there'll be a rubber band gun shooting range for the kids that they'll have a good time with. And so there's something going on in, in all departments. And so it's easy to entertain the family. If you can't stand there during the whole duration of the auction, there's uh, an opportunity to have fun because this is a fun store that a family comes to spend part of the day at anyway. Why do we keep doing the gun auction? Um, there was a time that we talked about, hey, maybe this is a big hassle, maybe this is a big event, maybe we're not making enough uh, money to keep it going, to justify it, and our customers wouldn't let us stop. They ask and constantly, all year long, when's the gun auction? How was the gun auction? What are you going to do this year? What's in the mystery safe? They ask all kinds of questions. And their energy throughout the year is telling us that they want the event, that they want to be here for it. That's an interesting question. That came uh, when we were at Kemmeyer's. They used to have a sidewalk sale once a year, downtown Ogden. And everybody would bring their merchandise out, set it on the sidewalk, and have some good sales, kind of a blowout, get rid of your dogs. And, and uh, we were a couple of blocks down below Washington, and all of the action was up on the boulevard. So it was really get, it was hard to get people down to our neck of the woods. And so when you got them there, you felt like you needed to do something special. And they had already been shopping up on the boulevard, and they were kind of not interested. So I just remember thinking, I, how can I get their interest? And uh, we had some high ticket items, and uh, nothing was selling. And so I got on a little box uh, and uh, started an auction. Uh, see if I could get some people interested and yelling and making a fool of myself and uh, pretty soon we got a bigger crowd and a little bigger crowd and uh, and it went over pretty good we moved some some merchandise and uh, after we came out here uh, we were thinking of ways to to get through that January doldrums which is really tough nothing's selling and uh, I thought well shoot let's give it a try I don't know if you want the the history of some of our flunky sales, but uh, they weren't all very successful, especially at first. What's the best thing about the gun auction? Well, the best thing for me is that uh, you get to see a lot of people at one time. Uh, a lot of, I would say, 80% of the people that come really don't come to, to purchase. Uh, they come because it's an event. So I get to see, you get to see, 
a lot of customers, it's fun to see people get in, interactive in, in, in an event like that. And, uh, and it's also interesting to see that side of human nature where, where the, the mental part of bidding and wanting something uh, is exciting. And uh, I just think it's been a, a real positive for the store. Uh, the people I've talked to have always come away happy. Even the people that don't buy anything have come up to me and said, gosh, we had a lot of fun here. And I thought, how can you have a lot of fun if you didn't buy anything? But uh, they just, they observe and get into it. And uh, it's a lot of fun. I think you've had the same auctioneer throughout all time. How did you find? Yeah, Mike Montgomery. He used to auction bulls uh, down at the stockyards, and he lives in my neighborhood. And uh, somebody said, I was the auctioneer uh, at first, and then uh, he, somebody said, well, maybe Mike could do it. You know, he's a professional. And so I, sure, I said, let's give it a try. So I, I called Mike, and uh, he gladly took it on, and uh, he's been doing it ever since. I don't have official numbers, but uh, you know, the first auction, as I recall, there was about two dozen people uh, at our gun auction, rather, and uh, and now there's literally hundreds of people. So every year it, it grows, and a lot of uh, a lot of interest from way outside of this area. Well, Mr. Smith is pretty brave. You know, it's easy to be brave with somebody else's money, but to, I really have to hand it to Mr. Smith because when when he first heard about it. He was, he was all gung-ho and ready to go. Let's take our chances and go for it. And that's uh, the kind of cowboy buyer, merchandiser he is. And uh, he's never had any regrets. I've never had any regrets. And uh, all in all, it's not a real profitable sale for us. Uh, things are sold at a pretty big discount most of the time. Uh, but when you get that many people in, expose your store to that many people, it's, it's a positive. But if you added it up and looked at your bottom line, you'd probably scratch your head and say, why are they doing it? Uh, they're not really making anything on it, but uh, hopefully we're making some friends, uh, making some customers, and making some people real happy. And that's what we're trying to do. And if we make some money, don't anybody hold it against us. It's not a bad thing. Well, come on, that's like asking Colonel Sanders what's in his chicken recipe. Um, there are times when it defers to the buyer and the buyer greatly wins and there's other times where it's, uh, it goes a little bit the other direction. But I really do believe that every year it's been in favor of the customer. And that's crazy to state because it has grown and the price has gone up and the goods inside have gone up accordingly and how it ever arrives at a price that uh, the customer and the store are happy that we continue it, it's miraculous but uh, it somehow happens. What's in the safe system? Just like asking Colonel Sanders, can't tell you what's in the safe. It's gonna be great stuff. There'll be optics, there'll be long guns, there'll be handguns, and there'll be major brands that you know and will wow you. We will wow you.